Now, this is going to be an economy, our aggregate demand, aggregate supply, with unemployment. Okay? Anytime we have unemployment, it's also a recession. So in a recession, we're not making all the GDP we could. So the way we set up a recession, we'll have our long run aggregate supply and our point of GDP production at full employment. Remember it's real GDP, subtracted for inflation. Have our price level. Okay, remember we increase to the right and decrease to the left. So in a recession, we are going to have our short run aggregate supply and our aggregate demand cross to the left of full employment. That means less than full employment. So we're at a short run equilibrium right here and we're producing this much GDP at point Y. That's called our current output. We're we'll producing at this amount of price level. So when we have a recession we need things to get us out of it. So we're going to need an expansionary policy. We want green, something to make it go. So we need the economy to get rolling again. So our two possible policies is going to be government spending going up or taxes decreasing. Remember when your taxes decrease that makes your paycheck bigger. So taxes decrease, three dots is there for consumption will go up. Now these are in sig x. That's the g of sig x. So now we have sig x equals aggregate demand. So aggregate demand is also how we add up everything to get our aggregate spending. Remember with sig x, how we calculate GDP, add all these up and you get our GDP or aggregate demand. So now if we get one of these policies to work, you're going to shift it to the right because remember we increase to the right. And when we do that, we're going to now, we want to get back to full employment. We want everyone working. So when we do that kind of policy, that's going to end up increasing us to the right. So GDP is going up. Aggregate demand went up. That leads to GDP going up. And therefore, unemployment is going to decrease. And that's what we want. That's our goal. However, notice where they're crossing. It's at a higher price level. So prices have now increased. So it causes our price levels to go up. And therefore, inflation is going to go up. Unfortunately, that's a side effect of this type of policy, but we want people to work. We want to get back to full employment so we can fix this recession. So now we close what's called a recessionary gap. So that recessionary gap is the amount of GDP missing from right here. So if we're making 20 trillion and we need to make 21 trillion dollars of GDP at full employment, then we can close that gap with policies if the economy does not fix itself.